I just got one thing to say. I am 100% invested into this drama. It was so good. Like, I see elements from, like, Matrix, Twilight, uh, Men in Black. Dude, it was so good. I like it. Um, so we got Eon, who is this powerful being. He can fight. He's fast. He's strong. He has the ability to make people forget. And he's killing these evil monsters to bring back the woman he loved, which is Am. Which kind of makes sense to, to when he asked Gia 21 years ago, are you Am? Makes sense, because he kind of thought maybe Am could have reincarnated into Gia. Interesting. But how is him beating monsters allow him to bring back Am? Maybe there's a stone, a spell or something, but yeah, that's pretty interesting. I got questions, man. All right. it, it's making me so interested that I got so many questions. Uh, next, we got Gia, who's pretty much a producer, and she's chasing after Eon. Now, it's only been one episode, so the best way that I can describe their relationship is cat and mouse. And it's probably... And I already know that it's going to be more than cat and mouse. Um, it's hard to say now with her needle in Eon's neck. But anyway, um, so at the beginning of the episode, a car accident, parents die, a usual drama starter. Um, so it looks like the evil monsters uh, turn off all the lights and cause the car accident and took the identity of Gia's parents, which kind of makes sense because Edong took the identity of Suyong. That is interesting. And then right after the accident, it kind of shifts to them at home acting like everything was a dream, but it wasn't. I mean, if you look at her present, the horse head was missing and she had blood on her clothes. And then after that altercation, Eon came in and just did what he did. And then we just flip-flopped back to the accident. I was like, whoa, kind of trippy there. And then uh, this kind of happened with Suyong on the bus. Um, at first, I thought, wait, hold up. What is Eon doing? I know he has the ability to turn off the lights. But, but in my mind, I was thinking, wait a minute. Did Eon turn off the lights at the beginning of the episode and kill her parents? I was like, no, 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 no. Those were the evil spirits. Now for Young, she was still Young before the bus and in the bus. But the eye, that's when Irang took over. And then, of course, killed. But then when we jumped to the hospital, I think that was the real Young. But then in that one scene where we saw someone coming into her room, I think that was Yuri. And that, and... So, well... Irang said that he ate her. Maybe that was a lie. I mean, we saw boots with heels and he wasn't wearing any boots and heels. Well, he wasn't wearing boots with heels. So maybe Yuri kind of killed her and ate her. Or, or maybe she killed her, bought her back and they both ate her. I don't know. But yeah, that was the real Young in the hospital. But then, but then after that accident, um, Irang was already, uh, Suyang, wow, that's gonna yo. That is such a good dynamic of having these beings, uh, take the identity of other people. Cause now you're not gonna know. Wait, is that the real one or the fake one? I like that. Oh yeah, and then Irang did tell Gia, come to the bus stop, come alone, and you'll see something. I thought. That he was bringing her there to see Eon. Because Eon was also in the bus. But I think he was trying to kill her. That is also interesting. But the old man stopped her. And he did save her. Come to find out, the old man was actually the totem. He was the totem pole. Wow. Yo, I love this. Oh my god, that was so good. Like... Just having those elements of fantasy and just the idea of, wait, is that a fake one or is that the real one? It's just what it pulls you in. And I love that. Dude, that was a good first episode. I pretty much got down the gist of the episode. It was pretty much um, showing us an, in an introduction of Eon, having Gia be kind of suspicious towards Eon, um, having her recognize him from 21 years ago. Um, having to be suspicious towards him when it came down to 
the bride, you know, being dead and the fox fur and and all of that. And also she kind of as of right now, she's kind of blackmailing him because she did film the fight scene between Eon and Irang and she does have a needle onto his neck. So for right now, things are just getting interesting. I am not going to make any predictions because this was just so, so good. Um, I kind of think that, um, okay, so here's the thing. Okay, I'll make one prediction then. Seeing where they're at right now. It does feel like that Gia is blackmailing him. But at the same time, you know, he could... Oh, wait, hold up. It won't work on her. Yeah, her... Yeah, just using that ability to make her forget. Yeah, that's not going to work on her. So, since Gia is sort of kind of blackmailing him, I kind of think that eventually these two are going to work together to take down evil spirits. That's pretty interesting. Okay, so that's going to be my only prediction. Other than that, this was a bad-ass first episode cannot wait for tomorrow's episode so anyway if you guys like my reaction and my review leave a like comment down below and subscribe see ya